Hey, what's going on guys? It's your friend Gear Bear here with another pickups video for you. Um, and some of you guys may have noticed, probably most of you haven't, but some of you may have noticed um, I didn't do a video last week, and I apologize for that. Um, I've been really sick for the last couple weeks here. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> Long story short, my daughter's in school, she's in first grade, and for you, those of you out there that have kids, you guys know Kids are dirty, nasty little bastards. They really are. They're like little they're like little petri dishes just full of viruses and bacteria and all kinds of nasty crap. So my daughter, you know, ever since she started school, we've been sick just all the freaking time, and this has been no exception. So she goes to school, comes home sick, I started getting that, and then I've been working with pediatrics for my nursing school. So last week I had to do clinicals with a bunch of little kids. They were all, they were like hugging me and playing on me and they had snot all over me. It was freaking disgusting. So I think a combination of that and her, oh, I was sicker than crap this last week. Um, I had a really bad fever, sore throat, cough, sinus infection, all that stuff. Went to the doctor and he confirmed it to be um, a fever. The Bieber fever is what they said. So Yeah, there's not much of a cure for it, unfortunately, but... I'm getting through it. Um, no, but I'm feeling a lot better. I still have a fever, so if you guys notice me getting hot and sweaty and kind of nasty all of a sudden, that's why. Um, plus I'm just kind of amped up on Ritalin today, so kind of watch out. Um, but no, guys, I'm really excited to come back and do this video. I have so, so, so much stuff to show you guys. Um, a little pop quiz for you. What do you get when you take a Gear Bear? a computer with internet access, eBay, and a plethora of time to do nothing but peruse through it for a week. You get all this stuff. So this is what you get, and a uh, mountain full of debt. <laughs> um, no, I found some, most of the stuff I show you guys here is going to be eBay purchases, which, you know, typically I'm not crazy about. But I've been finding some really good stuff here lately. Um, one thing I gotta let you guys know, I don't want you to think that, you know, I'm just spending a crazy buttload of money on this stuff. I mean, I kind of am, but you have to understand, um, I actually have a pretty detailed formula uh, um, of how I determine if I'm gonna buy something or not. Um, like, you know, long story short, basically, if I'm buying something on Craigslist or locally, I try to get it for 40% of what it retails for, preferably less, um, just depending on what it is. And eBay, I'm even more stringent about. Um, you know, typically, I try to get it for under 50% of what it retails for, and that's including shipping. So that's why, I mean, usually I don't get stuff because by the time you add shipping in there, it's just, it's not worth it. Um, and again, it depends how bad I want the game. And, you know, these games I'll show you guys, the ones that are complete in box, um, there's even more of, a, of a, a formula involved. So, you know, the game complete in box, it has to be worth, you know, usually, like, I won't buy it if it's more than about 60 to 70 percent of what it retails for and then I also have to take into consideration if I have the game loose I have to be able to sell that and you know make back at least a certain percentage of what I'm buying it for so I'm not you know set, like spending an uh, obscene amount of money on just upgrading the box and stuff like that it's kind of complicated it makes sense to me um, I hope that makes sense to you guys but I'm just trying to give you an, a, a kind of a an understanding of the mind of a gear bear um, and what goes into determining if I'm going to purchase these items or not. And like I said, sometimes there are items that I just have to have um, that I'm willing to spend a good few bucks on. Like, uh, like I said, like the, the Link to the Past. You know, I probably, by the time I, I sell off my cartridge, that's probably like a $20 or $30 upgrade. Totally worth it to me, though. Just wanted to kind of get that out there before we start with more stuff. So like I said, most of the stuff is eBay. I got a couple Craigslist deals, a couple trades and things like that. So, um... This very well may be like a two or three part video because I don't want, it's probably going to be really long. I know you guys can't stand me for that long. So I'm going to try to fly through this as fast as I can. I'll tell you the stories and everything like always, but um, you know, I'll try to go through this as quickly as I can. All right. So for the first thing I'm going to show you guys here, this is a trade I did with my good friend, Chris. Um, you know, I talk about him all the time. We always do trades every few weeks um, and I got a bunch, a bunch of stuff from him. We, we kind of saved it up for a few weeks because just, just to make shipping more um, cost effective, I guess we're not. Spending $10 to ship three little things. So we saved up for a while, had a huge trade, and I was really, really excited with what I got. So um, thank you again, Chris. I appreciate you doing this for me. I got some really cool stuff here. 
Um, first up is something I've been wanting for a long time, really glad to get it. The Adventures of Batman and Robin for the Sega Genesis, and it's complete and in very, very good shape, so I was really happy to get that. Next up is a game I've been wanting for a long time, and for whatever reason, it's just been eluding me for just the last couple years. Um, Super Mario Island... Uh, Super Mario World to Yoshi's Island. Um, I've heard it's a really good game, I'm really excited to play it, I've never actually sat down and played it before. Um, but yeah, just really, really happy to get that. Next up is something he just kind of threw... I think he threw this in for free, if I remember correctly. It's really cool. Um, it was really nice of him to do. But it's a... Uh, it was for free? Yeah. It's the Epic Mickey Power of Two paintbrush. I think he said he bought a couple of these for really cheap, so I think that's why he threw it in. Um, but yeah, very, very nice of him to do. He didn't have to do that, so thank you. Yeah, my daughter, she really wanted it, so it's pretty much going to her. <laughs> Um, this next stack of games here is a large Sega, uh, Sega Saturn lot. Um, he's basically told me he's downsizing all that kind of stuff and kind of focusing on other things. So I was more than happy to get these from him. Um, and luckily I didn't have any of these, so that's even better. So first up we've got NFL, quarter NFL Quarterback Club 96. Olympic Soccer. Uh, NHL All-Star Hockey. Criticom, this actually looks kind of interesting. I've never heard of it, but it looks kind of cool. Defcon 5. This one I was really happy to get. I love the series. Uh, the first Quake. Bottom of the Ninth. Which is made by Konami, which is actually really surprising. I didn't know they did sports games. Um, next up is Siberia. Not the country, apparently. Um, Worldwide Soccer. And then the last Sega Saturn game is Gen War, which, again, I've never heard of, but looks really fascinating. Uh, so yeah, ten more Sega Saturn games to add to my collection, which I'm really happy to do. Um, you know, I mean, there's nothing, like, super spectacular or rare in there, but I'm more than happy to add them. It's really, really cool to get those. All right, next item, uh, you know, like I said before, I'm trying to get all the Mega Man games as hard as that's going to be. Um, so this one I didn't have, and I was really happy to get it. Uh, Mega Man 8 for the PlayStation. And this is another game he threw in for free, which is really, really cool of him to do. Again, thank you so much, dude. Um, the last of this for the PS3, which, sadly, I have not played this yet, and I've heard such good things about it. Um, I planned on waiting until I got a PS4 so I could get the remastered version to play that. But since I've got this now, um, I'm definitely going to give this a run-through soon, so very glad to get that finally. Okay, and so for the last stack of games here that he sent, um, you know, of course, as he and everybody else knows, I'm trying to kind of go for a complete PS2 collection. So he basically threw a lot of stuff at me that I didn't have um, to kind of help me out with that. So again, I really appreciate him doing that for me. Um, so I'll try to go through these really quick. Tie to the Tasmanian Tiger Bush Rescue. Sly 2 Band of Thieves. The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, which I'm surprised I don't have that. Um, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. The Power Drome. Shellshock Nam 67. Cabela's Dangerous Hunts, and then Cabela's Deer Hunt 2004 season. All right, and then the last ones here, um, Roller Coaster, Zathura, The Mummy Returns, CSA, Jesus, I can't talk today, CSI Crime Scene Investigation, Three Dimensions of Murder, ah, God, <laughs> um, Call of Duty 3, Delta Force, this always sounds so dirty when I say it, Black Hawk Down, when you say it really fast, that sounds really dirty, sounds like it'd be a good movie name though, um, Casper Spirit Dimensions, I like Casper, that might be fun, I don't know, <laughs> Sniper Elite, and this is probably the one I was most excited to get, it always looked like fun to me, um, Way of the Samurai, alright, and the very last thing that he sent me, something else I didn't have, and I've really wanted for a long time, um, I had friends as a kid that had this, and I... Ever since I saw Ghostbusters 2, I wanted one so bad, I just never owned one. Um, and that is the NES Advantage. Really, really cool to get this. Um, I don't, I'm don't. i really amazed I've never come across one with all the NES lots I get. Um, but yeah, really cool. I'm uh, very, very happy to get this. So yeah, again, like I said, really great trade. Chris is such an awesome guy. If you guys ever talk to him and you, you're you know kind of apprehensive about working a trade with him, don't be at all. He's a wonderful guy. He always throws in awesome extras. He's really quick about it. So thank you again, Chris. I really appreciate you doing that trade with me, buddy. Oh, I feel so good on my throat. That sounds dirty. Okay, so next little item here. This is something my wife and my daughter got for me um, last weekend when I was really sick. It's also, it's 
kind of like a get better soon slash happy anniversary thing. Really cool they got it for me. Um, it's the Link, you know, World of Nintendo figure. I've been trying to track this down for several weeks, and I just couldn't find it. And, yeah, so they found it for me. They Someone else, I guess, was going to grab it. They swooped in and snatched it up. So that made me happy. I was really happy to get this finally. Okay, so next little lot here. This is a uh, GameCube lot that I got on Craigslist. Um, it's actually a lady from a couple months ago that I got a huge, huge stack of GameCube games for that was really cheap. Um, she ended up getting rid of the rest of the stuff that she had, so I was really happy about it. She was, you know, happy to contact me again, and we worked out a really good deal. Um, so first off, there is the, uh, you know, the Indigo GameCube with the Game Boy Player, and luckily it came with the disc, so I was really, really happy to get that, because a lot of times that doesn't come with it, as you guys know. And it also included the pamphlet, which is really cool. Um, I was hoping she had the box, because sadly, of all the systems I have boxed, I'm amazed I don't have a GameCube in the box. I would, For some reason, I would think that would be easier to come across, but I just never find them here. Um, so there's that. And then the games was what really sold me on this, which is really why I wanted to get them. I'm very, very happy with these. They're all in complete, really good shape. Um, first up is The Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition. Next up is Mega Man Anniversary Collection. Uh, Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventure. Chaos Field, which I did not have, so that's good to get. Um, same with this one, Amazing Island. I've actually, I just watched the Game Grumps play this, and it looks really weird. It's kind of like, kind of like Pokemon slash Spore, I guess. Um, yeah, kind of cool to get. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. Sonic Heroes. XG3 Extreme G Racing. Lego Star Wars The Video Game. And finally, Need for Speed Underground. Um, it also came with four controllers, only two of which were actually official. The other two were like GameStop and third-party ones. Um, and then there was a couple of Nintendo DS cases in there, which I thought the games were in there, which would have been a nice bonus, but they were just the cases. Um, but anyway, I got that lot for $80, which I thought was a really, really good deal. Um, by the time I get rid of what I already had, I should be able to make that back and have some extra games to add to the collection. So very, very cool. I'm glad to get those and add some more to the GameCube collection. All right, so the next little deal here, this is the only thing I've gotten from the pawn shops here in the last couple weeks. They've just been completely dry lately. Um, so I went in yesterday after after taking a quiz or an exam that I was pretty sure I bombed. So this kind of cheered me up a little bit. Um, and these are really cheap. They usually do like DS and 3DS games for I think like $8.99 if they're complete and then if they're loose, they're like $4.99. And I, I talked them down anyway, but. Um, got a game I've been wanting for a while, Resident Evil Revelations. I've heard nothing but great things about this. I hear it performs very, very well with 3DS. So I was really happy to get that. Um, and then she showed me a couple of games that were kind of hiding away, which I was very happy to get for this price. Um, first up is Pokemon Black, which I've already got, so if anybody wants to trade for it, uh, let me know. And this one I'd never heard of, but it's an Atlas title, so I was really happy to get it. Um, I just need to get a case to complete it. But it's Izuna. Um, it's actually, I was, I was kind of surprised how much it's worth loose, so really cool to get that. Um, basically, I got everything for 15 bucks, so basically I guess you could say like 5 bucks a piece. So I thought that was a very good deal, I was really happy about that. Okay, so that is everything that I bought locally. Everything else I'm going to show you guys um, has been online, like eBay, Amazon Market, or Half.com. Um, and this is, you know, a, a huge bulk of everything that I'm going to show you guys. So again, <laughs> this will probably take a while. Um, so we'll just get started. All right, um, real quick before we continue on, I do want to give a couple shout outs this week. Um, a couple of other really great channels. Again, you know, they're very small, they're still growing, um, but really, really great guys. I really enjoy watching their videos. Um, the first one's gonna be the Retro Bandit. Um, he's, he gets outstanding, like, you know, he gets outstanding finds. Um, some of the best I've seen on YouTube, and the guy, surprisingly, you know, he doesn't even have 100 subscribers yet, which just blows me away. Um, cause I mean, he gets some stuff up there with like CJR and some of the best of the guys. So, you know, very, very great channel. Um, he doesn't do like, you know, he doesn't show himself in the videos. He kind of does behind the scenes thing with spy glasses, but still a uh, very articulate guy. Great finds. Seems like a really nice guy. Um, the next channel I want to talk about is another Canadian, which it seems like every single week I do, or every time I do a shout out, it's at least one Canadian. There's just a lot of you great guys out there. Um, and he's certainly no exception. It's a uh, subway to Saturn. Very, very nice guy. Um, I enjoy watching his videos as well. He's a very humble, you know, just kind of a chill dude. He doesn't, he's not a jackass like me. He doesn't do a lot of stupid editing and act like a fool. <laughs> um, but very nice guy. He gets some really great items. Um, he's always good about leaving comments, responding to comments, and everything like that. So um, definitely check him out as well. Um, yeah, two very great channels. Um, 
I really enjoy watching them both. So if you guys would, check them out, you know, give them some support. Subscribe if you like what you see, of course. Alrighty, so the first item here, um, this is something really cool. It's a Time Crisis 3, uh, the big box, you know, that holds the game and the gun con and everything like that. I really, really want to get all these boxes for the Time Crisis games. I think they're just awesome as hell. Um, I, I, I'm not going to pay too much for them. This was just the box only. It didn't come with anything else. But I got it for $10 shipped, which I thought was a pretty decent deal. Um, it was definitely worth it to me, so really happy to get that for sure. All right, so this next little lot here, this is something, uh, a, a series of games I really like, and I was really amazed that nobody bid on it. Um, so this is most of the Sui Coden games. Um, anyway, it's the uh, first one for the PlayStation, and these are all complete in very good shape. The only bummer was I was really hoping Sui Coden 2 was going to be in the lot. Um, that was the only one that was that and Tactics, but um, still happy to get them nonetheless. I'll eventually hopefully find that one. <laughs> I doubt it, but so anyway, there's Sui Coden 1. Uh, here is Part 3, Part 4. And, of course, Part 5. Um, and I already had a couple of these, so it, I'll be able to, you know, kind of sell those off, make most of this back. I think with shipping, I only got this for, like, maybe 50 bucks, which I, it was 50 or 60. I'm kind of struggling to remember. But it was a very good deal. I mean, it was way under what they're worth. So very, very happy about that. Okay, next couple items I got on Half.com. Um, if you guys remember a few weeks ago, I got that huge uh, PlayStation 1 lot that had all the really great RPGs. Um, one of them was Lunar Silver Star Story Complete, which was like missing the the outer box um, and the map. And then the other, a while back, I also got Ark the Lab, the collection, but it was only the disc case and the little uh, Omaki box. Um, it didn't have all the other goodies. And for me, I really wanted those complete. Um, so I went ahead and picked these up because these were cheap enough, and I knew I could sell those off and, you know, get pretty close to what I kind of make that back, um, especially what I paid for them. So someone had these for sale for a very good price, and I combined shipping, so it helped out. So here is Lunar Silver Star Story Complete, in excellent, excellent condition. Um, I mean, it looks like the guy never even touched either one of these. So I was really happy to get that for sure. Now I've got both of them for the PlayStation, um, and then the Ark the Lad, the collection. This one's in even better shape. I honestly think he only opened it to check the contents of it, or only played it once, because it's just immaculate. So very glad to get these. So with shipping and everything like that, I think I actually ended up paying $70 for the two, which is a very, very good deal. Um, so like I said, by the time I sell off the ones that I have, I should be able to get pretty close to making all that back, um, which is definitely worth it to have these because these are just amazing games to have. Okay, this one, this is probably, you know, it's, it's definitely one of the, the top few in this whole entire lot of stuff that I was very, very happy to get. Um, a lot of you guys know A Link to the Past is one of my all-time favorite games. And for some reason, I've just never been able to come across a complete box, um, you know, for a decent price. I always told myself if I could get it around $50, I would totally jump on it. Um, and I finally found one. Actually, I found it on eBay last week, really early in the morning. It was $50 plus $10 shipping, so $60. And it, it was in really good shape. And I, for whatever reason, I was just teetering, tottering back and forth. I was, you know, debating spending that kind of money. And, of course, as soon as I decided to buy it, someone already swooped in and picked it up. So, I was really pissed. <laughs> but luckily, I went on Amazon, on the Marketplace, and I found one actually in better shape for cheaper. So, it actually worked out kind of funny. Um, so, yeah, here it is. It's, you know, it's, it's, I mean, it looks great. I mean, there's a couple dings on it. You know, there's, I don't, you probably can't see that, but there's some creases on the top and bottom. I don't care. It looks wonderful. Um, the contents are in pretty good shape. The map tore in half, which sucks. I didn't know that when I bought it which is probably why it was so cheap, but, you know, I'm just really happy to get this. Um, you can't put a price on having your favorite game in the world complete. You know, maybe eventually I can find a nicer one, upgrade it, um, sell this off, and, you know, even if I gotta spend 10 or 20 bucks, I'll be happy to do that. But yeah, very, very happy to get this. I'm gonna get a, you know, a nice case protector for this, and it's gonna display, it's gonna be like one of the centerpieces in my collection, so... Again, very, very happy about that. All right, these next few items here, I got from the same buyer. Um, one thing I recommend for you guys to do if you're gonna buy on eBay, if you if you decide you're gonna get something from a buyer, always look to see if they're selling other items because most times they're gonna be willing to combine shipping, which saves a ton of money. Um, and, and a lot of times, you know, if you find somebody who has something listed very cheap, all of their items are gonna be you know listed cheap as well. And that's exactly what happened here. And I just got very lucky that I got both of these items for super, super cheap. And the shipping was just, you know, very, very reasonable. So first up here, um, this little lot is for Dragon Warrior 7, which is a very, very awesome game. 
um, along with the strategy guide. And some of you may know the strategy guide is pretty expensive. I mean, it's not a cheap one to get usually. Um, so first, you know, here's the game here. It's complete in very good shape. Um, it's not sealed. The sticker was actually on the front when I got it, but I just thought it'd be cooler to put it on top for some reason. I don't know. And it was it was blocking the cover, so I just put it up there. Um, I'll eventually play this, so that's going to have to <laughs> come off. I don't know why I did that. I was probably on a fever high or something. <laughs> but there's that. Really happy to get it. Um, I, I actually already had the game, but it was missing the manual, so I'm really glad to upgrade it. And this is way better. Um, and then here is the, uh, the strategy guide, which is, again, also in very, very excellent condition. Um, I actually ended up getting those two for $25, which is just, I mean, the game itself goes for way more than that. I, I couldn't believe that nobody bid on it. I was just baffled by that. So there's that. And then the next set of items a guy was selling, um, again, I couldn't believe what I got this for. It is The Secret of Evermore um, for the Super Nintendo along with a guide. The box, it's, it's in the box, it's complete, it's got the map, the manual, all the inserts, the plastic, everything. It's absolutely complete. Um, the box, it looked really nice, and when I got it, I didn't see this. It's got some crushing on the top, which, again, I don't really care. You know, for what I paid for it, it, it that's totally fine with me. Um, I'm just really happy to have this in the box. It's a very, very awesome game. So there's that. Um, and then, like I said, it does come with a guide, which this is pretty tattered as well. But, again, it's just so cool to have. Um, yeah, I, I again, this went for, I think I got this... 33 or 35 dollars it was really cheap i mean again it went well under for what it usually sells for especially with a guide um and when he did the combined shipping i think it was like seven dollars altogether so it was just a phenomenal deal i was super happy to get this stuff in the mail all right guys so just like i thought i knew this video was going to drag on for a while um i don't think it's going to be quite as long as i was anticipating i was expecting a three-parter i should be able to cut this down to two and still have it be reasonable um so i'm going to go ahead and cut it off here so that way you guys can have a break from me, get me out of your head, um, not be sick, too sick of me. Um, so I'll get this posted, and then, you know, here in a couple days, once you guys have gotten it out of your system, um, I'll post another, I'll, po I'll post the second half so you guys can, um, you know, see the rest of the items I got. So thank you guys so much for checking out this first part. I appreciate it, and I will see you on part two. See you then.